first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Makakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel, who teach us this truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Basham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akim Zemawi, who pushed the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming to you with another lesson to feed the elect at the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. I entitled this lesson, He Delighted in Mercy, that the Lord mercy goes a long way with forever. Right? And He's always merciful unto His people. You know, the Lord had, you know, not cast away, and this is what Apostle Paul was saying, you know, the Lord had not cast away His people which He foreknew. Right? He's always merciful unto Israel. Right? You know, He forgiven their iniquity. You know, look at how much, how many times, you know, David sinned, you know, and the Lord showed him mercy, he was forgiven, you know, because no matter, no matter, you know, the times David sinned, you know, he never turned from his power, he always acknowledged his power, he always turned to his power for forgiveness, you know, and this is why the Lord, you know, he find David a man of his own heart. Right, David was good to your Basham, your Shai. You know, and this is where the Lord, you know, he will be to do. To acknowledge our transgression. You know, and, and beg for his mercy. You know, to repent. And that's why the scripture says in Isaiah 55, verse 7, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is taught, and let him return unto your Basham, your Shai. For he shall have mercy. Right? These hey, these are hey, these are mighty and wonderful power we serve. Who is like your Basham Yoshai? Who is like unto he? And the scripture says in Micah 7 verse 18. He said, Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgressions of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever. Because he delighted in mercy. Hey, Israel did crime worthy unto death, worthy unto sin, worthy unto a hey, dread punishment. And yet hey, the Lord showed them mercy by offering up his son. Right? For the forgiveness of sin. Right there, you watch I die for the sins of Israel. Right? That we could we could come back to the Heavenly Father. To have a right, you know, to the tree of life. That is mercy. That is love. That the Lord offer up his son, his only begotten, his firstborn. Now you look at that today. You know, as, as a man that have one child right say you have one child and it have a lot of wicked niggas out there killing robbing doing all kind of thing and to save their life you had to get off up your son to be sacrificed you think you could do that to offer up your son for these niggas out there eh? you think you're gonna do that right you ain't gonna do that. Right? So who is like unto your Basham Yashai that he offer up his only begotten? For the, for men doing all manner evil. This is to show you the mercy of your Basham Yashai. The love of your Basham Yashai. And yet we two thirds of our people, you know, that give them Give the Mosai praises unto another God. Unto these images all your two thirds of our people does worship. Right? You know? There is um there is Baruch 2 verse 12. Start at verse 12. You say, O oh Lord, power, we have sinned, we have done ungodly, we have dealt unrighteously. In all thine ordinance, say, let thy let thy wrath turn from us, for we are but a few left among the heathen, 
Red Dog has scattered us. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord, and our petitions, and deliver us from thy own for thy own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away, that all the earth may know that thou art the Lord our power, because Israel and his prosperity is called by thy name. The Lord is the God of Israel, as the scripture says in Joel 2 27, he's in the midst of Israel, and he will be their power and none else. He's the God of the Hebrew Israelites, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? We want you all to turn from your wickedness, to repent. Right? To retain unto his word, cleave unto righteousness. The scripture saying in Jeremiah 3 verse 12, he said, Go and proclaim these words towards the north, and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. So this is what the Lord saying, all the turn back. Right, and you will even you will keep younger forever. For he's merciful unto his people. This Psalms 30 verse 5. He said, For his anger endured but a moment in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a moment, but joy cometh in the morning. Right? Joy gonna come to all that love his appearing that all that keep his sayings that rehearse his righteous act that follow after righteousness that do the work right joy gonna come and it's not just any joy everlasting joy it's not gonna stop as the scripture says in revelation 21 he comes to wipe away all tears no more crying no more sickness no more pain no more death only joy, happiness, peace. The land gonna be at peace. Days where your Basham is gonna bring for all you know of you that turn back and repent from all your transgression, from all your iniquity. Days were gonna come. <laughs> the Isaiah 40, 54 verse 7. He said, For a small moment have I forsaken thee. But with great mercies will I gather thee. Right? For just a small moment. It, it, it's not everlasting. Right? The Lord in cast away all you forever. Right? You all are here this day in all your captivity. For punishment. Just as a father will chastise his son. Hey, so the Lord will chastise thee. Because hey, a father want to see children go good. Right? So he will punish them. For them to go the right way. They, they, that is love. Tough love. Right? So I read it back. Isaiah 54 verse 7. He says, For a small moment have I forsaken thee. But with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I, I hid my face from thee. For a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. said said the Lord, thy Redeemer. Right? With everlasting kindness, days with the Lord, eh? afterwards Israel, love, kindness, mercy. Now when we read Isaiah 40, verse 1, the Lord going to have mercy upon Jacob. The Lord going to choose Jerusalem. He's going he to plant his people again. As we just say in 2 Maccabee. Plant thy people again in the Holy Land as Moses has spoken. Right? The Lord gonna the Lord gonna set you all back upon high. No other nation gonna be over all you. Yeah. You all not gonna be cast into slavery anymore. Right? There is Baruch 4 verse 29. Right? 
He said, For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. He said, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. The Lord will comfort thee. Right? Second Corinthians 4 verse 17. He said, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal way of glory. Right? When we go into now in this hell, the Lord gonna show mercy. We had just had a go through it. Right? We just had a go through these little emotion, little emotions right now. Yeah, hey, your shine already paved that way. So you just need to take up that take up our cross, you know, and, and follow. You already paved that way. It's just a go through it. Enjoy affliction. Be faithful unto death. Shall so give you a crown of life. You know? And Apostle Paul he understood it. That's why you know he did this work. You know, he run a race, he, he finished his course. And this is why he could say he knew what is laid up for him. A crown of righteousness what the Lord gonna give him at the end. Right? And there's what the angel was telling Ezra when every second Ezra 2 verse 42 reading on down. You know, these is the men that stood stiffly for the name of your Basham that did this work. Now they are crowned. Now we just had a good shoot. Right? There's Job 8 verse 7. He said, though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end sh should greatly increase. What we lacking now? All you're going to receive is, hey, all you're going to receive such. It, 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 it going to be, you know, you wouldn't you can, you can put a, a, a figure or a number to your wealth. To say, well, you know, you have $1.2 billion. You win time for a figure to say hey, days, days, your money just stop right here. Infinite wealth, everlasting wealth. You ain't have to worry about hey, your funds running out. And this infinite days with the Lord, I promise. Just had to enjoy, just had to go through it and hey, continue in faith, continue hey, serving your bash and your shine. Days were going to be. Restored upon us. Mortality. Right? You know, and with that, and hope it was a defined, you know, I like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Basham, Yahushai Basham, Kadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will. Peace and salutation to the Akims and Mordeo, pushing the gospel and sincerity and truth, baby brother, Quarras and Inshallah.